Hello guys, 1994 Toyota Super here. Um, this is part two of the Savage um, X 4.6 review. This is the part where I show you everything it came with. It did come with a great deal of stuff, and um, I gotta say it's a lot, so that's why I had to make it second. So um, um, I guess I'm gonna start off with uh, the radio. So, here it is, the uh, TF2OU, or TF20, uh, sorry, that was like a dumb moment right there, but, um, yeah, wait, let me see, see if I can get it closer without being so, sorry for that, okay, so the TF20U, uh, it's it seems very nice. I like the I like I just like the the overall feel of it. I do. Um, I know it would be kind of ridiculous, but I do kind of like the the thought of having a little grip on here. I don't know, it'd be nice. And this on here, the foam, that's actually just from my old TRX 27 megahertz uh, radio. So yeah. I just like having the foam on there. It feels nicer. Okay, and basically the controls you have are just uh, steering trim, throttle trim, and you have dual rate trim. And um, that's about it. Um, for the throttle, it is very touchy. Like, and and it's wait, and it's 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 for a reason because I mean literally just that much your truck is winding out like a like crazy crazy and uh and if you're touch if you touch the brake that much your truck is almost going to flip forward and i'm not kidding so it's very sensitive in both both um things so um i just i just have to get used to it you know but it's no big deal uh, I mean, maybe there's a, maybe dual rate, adjust, like, adjust how sensitive it is, but I don't want to adjust it too much. Um, and then, uh, you can have, on the very top, sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting weird here, okay. Um, on the left, there's throttle, uh, reverse or forward, so that means if you put this in reverse, gas is going to be that way. So, that's just, and brake would be this way if you wanted to adjust that too. So that's for personal preference if someone wants it like that. But um, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, yeah. And to link up this radio, if for people, beginners, like in, in 2.4 gigahertz, which I am, I've never had a 2.4 gigahertz. It shows you how old I am. Um, I've never owned one. And I was a little intimidated at first, but this um, booklet made me understand it like it was very simple. And it was very simple. What you do is you just um, turn this on, turn the remote on, then you hold this down. The indicator, uh, the battery light will flash, and uh, then you want to turn your Savage on. And the receiver will uh, f uh, flash, and you push the flash being flashing light, and it's actually a button, and you hold that down, and then there's a secondary light, and then it starts flashing, and then um, you let it go, and you let them both go, and they suddenly stop flashing, and then then you're linked. So, and then these things are, you will never have to worry about those stupid crystals. Okay, moving on, we got a. Uh, 7.2 volt uh, nickel metal hydride. Um, it's a pretty basic battery pack. It's it's just a different company. It, usually these come with your easy starts. With any other um, company out there that offers a, an electronic start, it's the same battery. They, they're used back in the day for your RC cars, but nowadays it's all about LiPo. So basic. Um, yeah, so it's pretty decent and it comes with the charger for it but I didn't I personally didn't need it because I own a, a better charger um, let's move on we got the Roto Start 2 it's um, very sleek looking and it's very interesting looking I mean you look at it and it looks like 
something like a like a war movie or something, you know. But um, you have the rod that disconnects at the bottom, and you just slide it right in there. And I personally believe that this would be better on a drill. So, and you got this little safety flap so you don't accidentally press it. And then you have the reset button, which means when the tr when the truck floods, it instantly uh, it has a little circuit break in there that it breaks the circuit, and then you have to push this back in to reset. It. So that it's it's just a lot of it's kind of like a lot of technology, and it's also got. And if you don't want to keep taking out the battery pack to charge it, you've got that. So that's nice. Um, yeah, I just, I like it. Great stuff. You come with a few stickers. Not that many. you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, um, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen... So about 14 stickers. I was hoping I would see a sheet that was about, about like, yay tall. But, oh well, I'm still happy. I love stickers. Um, let's move on to the manual. we still got a lot more to go. Um, this is, I would consider, the Bible of RC um, driving, especially in Nitro. For me personally, since I'm, I'm pretty much, like... I don't really need this because I've I've just been doing this for so long, um, but it's nice to refresh. Um, but this is this is what what any beginner, and I'm telling you guys, if you're if you're just starting and and you and you really want to get into this, you need to read this book. This book will not only teach you about um, this truck; it'll teach you about how to tune any truck, any car. I mean, like, the tuning concepts in this is, is is the exact same that you would see in another another thing. It's just, it's really good. So if you finish this whole book, then you will know how to do almost any RC. But don't hold my word against it. Don't hold, my, hold that against me. Um, uh, English... Uh, Duh. I, I, I don't know how to say that, French and uh, Japanese. So, yep, good stuff. Now, moving on to the accessories that comes with this. Uh, oh, actually, I want to move on to um, what you need. Tri uh, HBI claims you only need um, fuel. Well, you need a glow plug igniter charger and you and you need one of these if you don't have um a temp gauge you're really not going to have a good running truck i know that sounds a little a little little much but i mean if you want to have a truck that's going to run healthy and strong and last you're going to want this i mean this is 20 26 bucks um and it's it's just nice, you know. So, you do need one of these. I, I, I mean, you don't have to have them, but you should have one if you want to make your truck last and run good. Monitoring temperature is a big factor in this hobby. So, moving on, uh, they come with their own air filter oil. I personally don't like how thin it is. This is a very th low weight, and I, I'm kind of. I'm kind of skeptical about it. To be honest, this looks like something you would put in your engine. I don't think this would um, catch all the dusty particles. It'd be so so thin, it'd probably just suck right through the filter in your engine. So, I don't know. I'm probably gonna, just going to buy a thicker weight. I mean, I guess I'll try it and see. You do come with an extra glow plug. For the way here. Come with an extra glow plug. It's just a standard. I think it's an HPI plug or something. Um, you have a ton of plastic parts that I have no idea um, exactly uh, why I would need them now, but they obviously are for when I break something. So that's nice that they thought about, like, that they know you're going to break something. There's no such thing as you're not going to break it. Um, anyways, let's go to the Universal Tool. Um, Universal Tool is very 
very, 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 very important. Glow plug. Um, what is this? 17 millimeter. Damn, that's big. I don't know what that is. It's probably for like, I don't know. Um, you got your 10 millimeter. You got your eight. Your what is this? Seven millimeter. So I mean, you got every, to fit everything on that truck. So this is you need this. I don't even know if I reviewed this before. If I already did that, but sorry if I did. But this is the silencer that came in it, like that was in the exhaust pipe. And while this was in in the in the exhaust pipe, I thought this it was the one that wasn't in it. I was I took this one out and I was like, what? There's two. So I guess I guess that HPI they installed the exhaust with it and then they just gave you an extra one because it just comes with the kit. <clears throat> um, the fuel tank is downright puny. Let me get a good focus here. This thing is only 250 cc's. Now, just to give you an idea, if I were to fill this up, I would literally get like a after one tank. It would go down um, about, like, probably almost, like, halfway. And then if I were to... And then basically two tanks would, would get... I would get two tanks out of this. So, I'm not going to use that. And my track is 500, 500 cc is much better. It does come with extra dual-stage filters, one oiled and one just non-oiled, because all you need to do for this one is slide it over, and it blocks the... Um, debris so I mean I love the fact that dual stage uh, filters it's just a great idea I think it's really just a great idea I don't even think I'll even change the filters I think they're fine so that's good in terms of an extra shock tower is very it's triangular though and I, I, I don't know if that's just a shock tower that all sha savages come with but um, I don't know I mean, maybe maybe it is <laughs> so Yep, think of that. I love because of the few extra body clips and um, four uh, wheel nuts, which is nice because I usually end up losing those somehow. Anyways, I I know this isn't a big deal, but when I was in Traxxas, Traxxas didn't offer aluminum um, hubs um, in any of their kits. They offered them as aftermarket, but they never like had them as something that was just OEM on the vehicle. So that's a really nice touch that they're OEM, OEM on the vehicle and they have like four extras for if you some suddenly have like five million horsepower and brake or something. Um, comes with a bunch of shims, washers and stuff, you know. A, a ton of these, a lot of them. Um, I'm sure later on I'll find out what they go to. Um, comes with two zip ties for the gas tank. If you want to make a little a little uh, lever for your tank, I just made mine out of uh, two zip ties that were different colors, and I wanted to I wanted them their crazy colors. So, um, yeah, uh, that is actually it. Yep. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, so this is part two. If anyone just comment or something, and I will write right back and I'll even make another video if someone wants wants to hear more about the truck so thank you for watching and um, have a nice day and uh, comment rate and subscribe thank you so much